Hi everybody, I am Arturo Pascuzzo and I'm from University of Calabria in Italy. The work that I'm going to present deals with a novel modeling approach based on the combination of movie mesh technique and M integral method for predicting track progression mechanism in functionally graded materials. This work is co-authored with Fabrizio Greco, Domenico Mendolea, Paolo Lonetti and Daniela Gaetano from University of Calabria. Functionally graded materials are multi-phase materials which involve two phases, usually one metallic and one ceramic, joined in such a way to produce smooth variable volume fractions along specific design directions. This manufacturing process leads to an improved materials which enhance the thermal properties owing to the ceramic component and the higher resistance provided by the metallic part. In addition, the graded micro properties avoid material interfaces thus reducing local stress concentrations. Unfortunately, the ceramic phase makes functionally graded materials susceptible to brittle fraction mechanism. When crack nucleation and propagation mechanism take place, the crack trajectory is highly influenced by the material heterogeneity, thus making it possible to predict the final crack configuration in advance. In this framework, numerical simulations have become an effective tool for investigating the fracture behavior of functionally graded materials. Most of the numerical approaches in the context of computational fracture mechanics have been developed in the framework of the finite element method. Commonly, finite element methods are collected in smart crack and discrete approaches. Such methods differ from each other depending on the way they represent the crack. Smart crack approaches account for the presence of crack at constitute level using proper damaging law reproducing nonlinear softening behavior. These approaches are easy to use and are computationally cheap but they can suffer from mesh dependency issues. Discrete approaches reproduce internal defects, including strain or displacement discontinuity files into standard finite element formulations. Such approaches are collected into intra-element or inter-element strategies. Intra-element methods provide reliable results, but are computationally expensive. Inter-element methods are effective when crack path can be predicted in advance but they became prohibitive in case of random cracks. Basically, we can conclude that these methods have strengths and weakness, thus making it possible to identify the best one. More recently, new methods rise from the join of traditional approaches have emerged as an effective tool to analyze the fracture behavior of functionally graded materials, ensuring reliable results and excellent computational performances. The idea of joining different methods or enhancing standard approaches by innovative numerical techniques represent an exciting opportunity to develop new numerical procedures able to predict a random growing crack with the reduced computational owners. In this work, we present an efficient finite element numerical modeling which combines moving mesh methodology and fracture mechanics concepts to predict crack growth propagation phenomena in functionally graded materials. The moving mesh method, based on the arbitrary Lagrangian and Lyron formulation, is adopted to properly describe the evolution of discontinuities within the computational domain. The integration integral method is employed to accurately evaluate the stress intensity factor of the crack problem, which are essential to define crack nucleation conditions and the direction of propagation. This presentation is structured in four parts. In part 1, the theoretical formulations of the arbitrary Lagrangian inner formulation and the interaction integral method are described. In part 2, the numerical implementation is reported. In particular, this section deals with a detailed description of the algorithm used to handle the propagation process. Part 3 presents numerical applications of the proposed modeling approach. Here we show the results obtained with reference to two benchmark cases typically adopted in many research works reported in the literature. In part 4, some final remarks are discussed. The arbitrary Lagrangian linear formulation is based on the definition of two coordinate systems, which are known as referential and moving coordinate systems. The referential system identifies the computational nodes in their initial position, while the moving system provides the position of the node points during the moving process. A proper mapping function links the systems and allows defining the granular operator of the transformation, which is needed to express governing equations in the moving configuration. So, the crack propagation problem is solved with reference to the moved configuration. 
the going equations comprise three contributions. The first concerns the solid mechanics problem. In particular, the traditional variational form is expressed in the moved configuration by means of the mapping function. The second derives from the fracture mechanics problem, which provides the definition of the crack nucleation conditions, the direction of propagation, and the crack tip incremental displacement. Finally, we have the equations of the moving mesh problem, which entail the Laplacian regularization procedure for reducing mesh element distortions. This problem is solved under constraint condition on nodal mesh displacement to avoid mesh demotion on external boundaries of the computational domain and to impose that the displacement of the mesh node of the crack tip equals the incremental crack tip displacement predicted by fracture mechanics conditions. The stress intensity factors are necessary to identify crack nucleation conditions and the direction of propagation. Such fractured variables are evaluated by means of the interaction interval method. The interaction interval expression, also known as M interval, can be obtained starting from the classical definition of the J interval applied to a closed counter surrounding the crack tip. In the counter interval expression, Q is an arbitrary weight function which varies smoothly from 1 to 0 by passing from the inner to the outer edge of the counter. From computational reasons, the J interval is usually converted in a domain interval form by applying the divergence theorem. By applying the J interval to a superimposed state formed by the actual problem and the actual files whose solution is completely null, the M interval represents the last term of the superimposed state. In the proposed model, the actual files comprise the asymptotic solution proposed by Williams, integrated with the incompatible approach proposed by Kim and Paulino. In addition, an actually compatible strain file is selected. Under these assumptions, we derive a suitable expression of the M interval easy to implement in a numerical model. Similar to the Goblin equation, the M interval expression is evaluated with reference to the moved configuration. The stress intensity factors of the actual state are evaluated using two interactional intervals, which are derived by means of a pure mode 1 and pure mode 2 auxiliary files thus obtaining the following expression of the actual stress intensity factors. The proposed approach is implemented in a finite element code based on a Galerking approximation. The propagation process is managed by an automatic crack propagation cycle described in the following flowchart. The first step regards the definition of the geometry of the problem under investigation. The geometry has a pre-crack, represented by means of a polyline, that departs from the external boundary and arrives to that initial crack tip. To ensure that the propagation takes place without altering the initial shape of the internal crack, an extra node is added to the polyline near the crack tip. This extra node splits the polyline in two pieces. The longest one represents the pre-crack that stands fixed during the mesh movement. The remaining one is a short segment that stretches during the propagation process, thus reproducing the crock advance. Once that stre the stretching segment is formed, the code remesh the geometry and starts the simulation, which involves a loading phase. During each step, an instantaneous kinking angle is evaluated and crack nucleation conditions are checked. If crack propagation conditions are satisfied, the code moves the mesh point of the crack tip, thus simulating the propagation phase. During the movement, mesh regularity is evaluated and whenever the mesh distorts too much, a remeshing event occurs. So, differently from standard finite element methodologies, the meshing event takes place only in case of highly distorted elements, thus saving relevant computational resources. The stretching segment stretches either until the variation angle with respect to the initial direction is larger than a fixed value, or the structure collapses. In the first case, once that the variation angle threshold is reached, the simulation is stopped and the geometry of the domain is updated according to the last step of the simulation. Then, the analysis restarts. At first, we applied our method to analyze the fracture behavior of a functional ingredient beam under free point bending loading. The beam has an initial vertical per crack placed at mid span. Material gradation varies linearly along the vertical direction according to the material properties reported in the following table. We considered three mesh arrangements for the numerical investigation. The first has the region near the crack tip highly refined, and the remaining part is coarser. The second mesh 
is refined everywhere. The third is entirely coarser. Here there are the results. We report an animation of the crack path evolution, a comparison of the final crack path and low displacement curves between the three meshes. We compare our results with the prediction gained by Kim and Paulino, which have adopted a standard finite element scheme equipped with a remeshing operator. The results of the proposed scheme are in accordance with the results of Kim and Paulino. Generally, we can see that the proposed model offers refined predictions using a mesh frame highly refined around the crack tip. In fact, these mesh frames improve the accuracy of the MA integral method and so the reliability of the final results. The second case is a functionally graded beam with three holes subjected to a three point banking test. The gradation occurs horizontally only along a short region marked by the dashed red line. The beam is pre cracked by a vertical notch in the graded region. To investigate this problem by the proposed modeling approach, we adopt the following mesh arrangement that has a refined zone in the region around the crack team and its mesh coarser in the remaining parts. Here there is an animation of the, of the crack propagation process predicted by the proposed approach. The animation marks the position of the arbitrary Q function adopted in the main integral method. In addition, this animation provides a comprehensive depiction of the remeshing events which refine only the region near the crack tip during the movement. We predict the crack path and the evolution of the stress intensity factors during the crack advance. The results are compared with the prediction of other methodologies reported in the literature. In particular, we refer to the prediction of Kim and Paulino, which have used a finite element approach, and Doi et al. that have adopted a scaled boundaries finite element method. The proposed method is in good agreement with the other methodologies, thus confirming that the M integral method can be used with such as in the framework of the other formulation. In conclusion, in this work we present a novel finite element numerical modeling approach able to predict crack propagation of phenomena in functionally graded materials. The proposed approach combines the moving mesh methodology based on the arbitrary Lagrangian linear formulation to the peak crack row evolution and the interaction integral method to extract fractured variables at the crack front. The crack row process is simulated by moving the mesh nodes around the crack tip according to fracture condition imposed by standard fracture criteria. The proposed method has been validated through a comparison with alternative numerical strategies. The results have highlighted a good agreement of the proposed model with other procedures and have also denoted a good accuracy in extracting fracture variables at the crack front. Different from the existing finite element modeling approaches, the proposed model reduces the recourse to remesh events, which typically require substantial computational costs. This work has denoted that the main integral method can work accurately in the framework of the Albert Lagrangian linear formulation. Thank you for watching.